Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at proof by induction involving inequalities. Remember that there's three types of proof by induction that we do under leave insert, inequalities, divisibilities, and series. So if you want to have a look at either of the other two, I'll put a link to those videos in the comments and in the description. So uh, for this one, prove by induction that n minus one factorial is greater than or equal to two times n minus one for all n an element of n. So the steps one to four, always the same. I have them written out like this. I'm gonna jump straight into step one, show true for n equal to one. So that'd be one minus one factorial is greater than or equal to two to the power of one minus one. So that's zero factorial is greater than or equal to two to the power of zero. Hopefully you know that zero factorial is one and that's greater than or equal to two to the power of zero is one and that is true. Step two, we assume true for n equal to k. So sub in k instead of n. So I have k minus one factorial is greater than or equal to two to the power of k minus one. Step three then, prove true for n equal to k plus one. So I'm gonna sub in k plus one instead of n. So I have k plus one minus one factorial greater than or equal to two to the power of k plus one minus one. Now let's just work on this. This k plus one minus one, that's actually just k factorial greater than or equal to k plus one minus one, that's just two to the power of k. So I need to prove that k factorial is greater than or equal to two to the power of k. Now k factorial, I can write that as k multiplied by k minus one factorial, because k factorial is just k by k minus one, by k minus two, by k minus three, etc. So that's k by k minus one factorial. And that's greater than or equal to two to the power of k. Now, k minus one factorial, well, I can actually replace k minus one factorial with what I have in here. So I can replace that up here and say that it's k times two to the power of k minus one is greater than or equal to two to the power of k. Using my laws of indices, two to the power of k minus one is actually equal to two to the power of k divided by two to the power of one, or just two, greater than or equal to two to the power of k. So this is k multiplied by two to the power of k divided by two. If I multiply across both sides by two, I get k multiplied by two to the power of k greater than or equal to two by two to the power of k. And this is true, and I'll explain why. So I'm gonna say true since k is greater than or equal to one. So because k must be a natural number, I've proven it true for one. So the next number, next natural number after one is two. In this case, we have two here and we have k. So if k was two, the next smallest natural number, they would be equal to each other. If k is any number bigger than two, then the left-hand side will be greater than the right-hand side. So this is true, and that is the proof, step three. Step four, as usual, is the same. P of one is true. Assuming pk is true, then p of k plus one is also true, and therefore by induction, p of n is true for all n an element of n. So I have one for you to try here, again, with our factorials. So you can try this, prove by induction that n plus one factorial is greater than or equal to two to the power of n for all n an element of n. So give it a go and let me know how you get on in the comments.